guys! Welcome back to another vlog takeover. So, for today, gagawa tayo ng ham and cheese sandwich. So, for our ingredients, kailangan natin ng 2 eggs. So, isa yung ito na yung beaten nuts for the bread. Tapos, we need milk, alpine, tapos mozzarella, or any kind of cheese. Kung ano man meron available sa inyo, you can use that. As long as it melts. Tapos, ito naman yung dalawang ham. Tapos, tatlong bread. We also have our muscovado sugar or cocoa sugar para maging balance yung lasa ng ating bread. Then, of course, our butter and a little bit of salt. So, I will show you the first step. Then, we will proceed sa ating video. Okay, guys. So, for our first step, mag ito na yung ating first egg. So, binip na natin tong egg na to. Then, after that, maglalagay tayo ng milk. Ilalagay ko na lang yung measurements ng ingredients sa description box. Then, batigyan lang natin to until magmix yung ating egg and yung ating milk. And after that, we're gonna add a little bit of salt. A pinch of salt lang para lang magkalasa yung ating mixture. So, yan. So, ibibit ulit natin to. Pag nakikita natin na nagmix na yung ating egg, yung ating milk, and yung ating salt, that's the time we can already dip yung ating tatlong tinapay. So, itong pang merienda na to, super easy to make, lalo na halos lahat ng kids is nakabakasyon na. So, if your kids are bored or they want to eat, ito yung sobrang daling merienda. And at the same time, affordable din siya gawin. So, set aside natin yung first bread. Then, dip lang natin yung second bread. Kailangan both sides na kukot ng mixture. Then, of course, our third bread. So, as you can see, this is so easy to make. And super yummy talaga siya. And for sure, may enjoy siya ng mga kids. Pag hinandaan nyo to sa kanila. So, yan. Coat everything. Both sides. Tapos, pag nakita natin na na-coat na, we can set aside the bread. Then, we can crack our egg. So, itong egg na to, ito yung magiging palaman niya later. So, ibibit lang ulit natin siya. So, it's your choice if you want to put pepper. Pero ako, I don't put pepper sa scrambled egg ko. So, I'll just add a little bit of salt ulit. Para lang magkalasa yung egg natin. So, isa to sa kasama sa palaman ng ating bread later. So, yan. I-beat lang ulit natin. Then, after beating this, we can already set this aside also. Tapos, magpaproceed naman tayo sa pagluto ng ating bread. So, hindi natin kailangan ng oven. We just need a pan. So, I'll show you pag naka-ready na yung ating pan. So, we'll be back. So, yan. As you can see, ready na yung ating pan. So, we'll put the heat sa bandang 600. Then, we'll get yung ating water. Super onti lang muna. After, after putting the butter, it's now time to let it melt sa buong pan. It's a non-stick pan. So, don't forget to use a non-stick pan para mas madali nyo yung mabukuha yung bread. Pwede rin yung doing 800 yung heat. Then, yan, since nag-melt na yung ating butter, we can already add the first layer ng ating bread. So, para makita nyo yung layer, ginagawa talaga namin siyang three layers para, so, first layer, we'll see the bread, then we'll add yung ating ham, then bread again, then cheese, then yung egg, then bread again. So, ito yung usually kung binabaon sa school for breakfast or for merienda. And, sure ako na may enjoy din to ng kids nyo because it's super yummy. And, hindi lang siya pang baon sa school, pwede rin talaga siya pang merienda for the kids. So, yan. Mag-wait kayo until mag-golden brown yung kulay nung likod ng ating bread. And pag gano'n na yung kulay niya, you can already flip it then wait for the other side to be golden brown as well. 
So, yan. Nakikita nyo, hindi pa siya ka golden brown. So, balik lang ulit natin. So, we'll be back pag naging golden brown na yung first side. You can see, nag-golden brown na yung color ng first side ng ating bread. Then, we'll just let it cook ulit yung other side. And after that, we can set this aside and continue cooking the two breads na natitira sa ating plate. So, you can also cook this together with your kids. Ipa-assist nyo sila because wala namang medyo knife na involved dito. And you, ju you can just guide them while making this merienda. So, ito yung ginagawa sa akin ni mami ng merienda. And tinuruan niya ako para kahit wala siya sa house, I can make my own ham and cheese bread. So, itong bread na to, nagmumukha na siyang parang French toast, yung dating niya. So, ayan, both sides are golden brown. So, we can set this aside sa plate natin. Then, after setting it aside, we can already add our next layer of bread. So, I'll fast this forward lang para hindi masyado mahaba yung ating video. And, we'll be back. breads na nauna. Nagdalagay ako ng mascovado sugar para mag-balance yung lasa ng no, ating bread. So, super onti lang para lang, para din mag-caramelize lang din yung taas niya. Then, flip natin. At ulit yung ating mascovado. Then, if it's already ready, we can already set this aside. So, we'll be back. Okay, so since luto na ang ating bread, we can already start sa una nating palaman, which is yung ating ham. So, magbigay lang tayo ng potting butter. Dito natin siya para lulutuin. Kasi ang ham naman cook na siya eh. So, you don't have to fully cook pa or sunutin yung ham. Kasi, hindi rin naman siya masarap pag sunut na. So, yan. Since nalagay na natin yung ating butter, we can already add our two ham. So, as you can see, sa lahat ng napakita ko, super easy to make lang naman yung sandwich na to. You can make it with your kids. Yun yan lang. Kailangan siyempre i-guide nyo sila while making this sandwich because nag-handle tayo ng heat and we don't want naman na napasok sila so we have to guide them first pero pag sanay na sila pwede nga silang hayaan na to end yung dish na to so sa mga next episodes natin pwede tayo mag stick sa mga easy to make meriendas muna habang bakasyon yung ating mga kids so para everyday hindi tayo nang uubusan ng ideas kung ano pwede pa kaya natin sa kids natin habang wala naman silang ginagawa or wala pa silang hatong. So, dito sa ating ham, pag nakikita nyo na nag-change na siya ng color and wala na masyadong red, it means it's already ready. Basta, pag nakita nyo may color na siya, okay na yun. flip lang ulit natin para ma-make sure na lahat ng sides so, lutong luto. Then, after this step, we can already cook yung ating scrambled eggs. So, isa rin siya sa filling. So, one egg, kasyon na yun for three bread na magkakapatong. Para dun sa pag nilagyan nyo na siya ng milk, sakto na yung one egg. Then, another egg para dun sa ating filling. So, yan. As you can see, malapit na maluto ang ating ham. So, since luto na ang ating ham, we can set this aside. Then, put it sa plate natin. Then, 
Lultuin na natin ang ating scrambled eggs. So, ito na yung egg na niluto natin kanina. So, magdagdag lang tayo ng konting-onting oil sa ating pan para hindi, for sure na hindi dumikit yung ating egg. So, as much as possible, hindi ako nag-oil or masyado ma-butter para, para maging healthy rin yung kinakain ng kids natin. And pa nagluluto kami ng egg, hindi rin talaga ganun karami yung oil na sinanay kami. Kasi ako rin yung feeling ko pag masyado maraming oil, para ang pikit sa chance. So, hindi rin ako ganun kahilig sa maraming oil. So, as much as possible, I use non-stick pans para hindi na kailangan gumamit ng oil. So, yes, yeah, you can see, mapilis na nag-cook yung ating scramble dahil na mainit na yung ating pan. Dahil isang pan lang yung kailangan yung gamitin. Mas masarap yung nagiging flavors niya kasi nagahalo-halo na yung lasa ng lahat ng niluto natin dito sa pan na to. So, it adds konting additional flavor sa ating niluto. Again, it's your choice to put uh, pepper sa ating egg. Pero personally, I don't like pepper, so it's optional. I just really add salt lang. Super onting salt lang. Basta lang magkalasa yung ating egg. So, yan. So, since to na yung ating egg, we can also set this aside then, a-assemble na natin yung ating bread. So, we'll be back. So, as you can see, nandito lahat sa plate na to, yung lahat ng niluto natin. So, we're gonna put the first layer ng ating bread. Open it sa siguro 400 para hindi masyado masunog yung ating bread. So, okay na yan. Painitin lang natin both sides muna yung bread ng last layer. Para paglagay natin ng cheese mamaya, magbe-melt yung cheese habang nakapatong siya dun sa first layer ng bread. So, yan. So, as you can see, super easy to make. Less than 20 minutes. As long as nakaprepare na lahat ng ingredients nyo, you're good to go and you're done. And if may face-to-face -face classes na... Super dali na siyang gawin na you don't have to wake up early to prepare breakfast for your kids kasi less than 20 minutes you're already done. So yan, since so okay na both sides, na heat na natin siya, we can already add our mozzarella. So again, hindi naman kailangan mozzarella yung cheese. You can use any kind of cheese as long as natutunaw siya para mamaya maganda yung maging effect niya pag ikakot na siya sa gitna. So, you just have to assemble it. So, ito yung first layer. Puro cheese lang yun naman niya. So, kayo naman bahala how much cheese yung gusto nyo ilagay. If your kids want it cheesy, then add more cheese. If gusto nila sakto lang, then konti lang ilagay nyo. And after that, since tapos na tayo sa layer na yan, we can already add our first ham. Dito rin sa taas no ating cheese. So, yan. After adding the first ham, we can already add the second layer of bread. So, para hindi masunog masyado yung ilalim, if you flip na natin siya, flip, tapos, let's add yung layer ulit ng ham, then last is yung ating egg. So, kayo bahala if you really want it na super flat na flat. Pero since ako lang naman kakain ito, hindi naman kailangan maging super maganda siya. As long as present, tabol pa naman siya sa mata, then you're good to go. 
and promise super sarap pa rin ito. Okay, for the last layer. And, yeah. So, we're already done with our ham and cheese with egg and the bread. So, as you can see, sa area na ito, nag-uuz na yung cheese natin. No? So, let's put it out ng ating pan. Sa ating pan. This is our ham and cheese with egg. Super easy to make and sure na may enjoy ng mga kids niyo. So, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe on our YouTube channel. And we'll see you on our next one. Bye!